All too frequently, live oak trees have been planted in small yards, and we have a monoculture of these live oaks with imposing roots that are lifting sidewalks and pavers and damaging utility lines. Let's take a look at another shade tree species which makes better sense for our confined spaces. This tree, Japanese blueberry, Heliocarpus, should be used as a signature tree more often in many of our communities. We don't have the problems with it buckling sidewalks and it stays a nice compact, rarely does it need pruning, it stays a nice compact tree up to 20 feet or so. The Japanese blueberry has a confined, elegant growth pattern with dark green leaves which turn red just before they exfoliate. The flowers are a fringed, whitish, lily of the valley shape which are born under the foliage. Here's the fruit of the Japanese blueberry. As you can see, it is not a blueberry, but rather a hard, almost uh, acorn-looking droop type of fruit. Uh-oh, here's a problem. We have lobate lac scale on the twigs. Lobate lac scale is best controlled by a soil application of systemic insecticide called Merit or imidacloprid. It's picked up by the roots and moves throughout the entire tree's canopy via the vascular system. To find out the condition of your scale insect population, you do the old scrape test where you run your finger on top of the scale insects. If they're dead, they're dry and flake off. These are very dry. If they're alive, they'll be juicy and you'll get a lot of purple liquid with the lobate lac scale. Purple reddish juice from the living insects, but these are all dead. Which is good news for the Japanese blueberry.